All right, good people, my people, we are back with more from Bloodborne. So, first thing you're going to want to do, grab the Crown of Illusions, which will be laying on the floor right there. Or wherever you killed him is where it's going to be. And the next thing you're going to want to do is to put the Crown of Illusions on. It's neat looking. And initially, it doesn't look like much happened. It's like, okay, I got this crown on now, cool. Walk this way. And this will only work if you're wearing the crown. If you're not wearing the crown, nothing happens. Alright, so once this area has popped into existence at that point, actually, you can take the crown off. Uh, they do give you a hint. What visions did he see and expose a mirage that hides a secret? So they give you a hint if you bother to read the directions, because otherwise, why would you have thought to do that? Um, but I believe that nothing disappears if I put my armor back on. What the heck was I wearing? The Tomb Prospector hood? Sure, sounds good. Alright, so once you get inside, up the stairs. Suddenly very concerned about my hand lantern. Alright, there we go. Visitor. Yes. I no subject, but here lieth our throne. Kneel afore us, or get thee gone. Alright, so we're going to kneel, don't worry about it. She's not too serious about the get thee gone part. What we're looking for is that. So now we have another summons that will get to Kanehurst in addition to the one that we used. So walk up to her and you can actually kill her if you want to. We'll get into that in a minute. For now we're going to go ahead and kneel. Moon scented hunter. I am Annalise. Queen of Castle Kanehurst. <laughs> Ruler of the Vile Bloods. And sworn enemy of the Church. Yet our people are murdered. And we are prisoner to this wretched mask. What is it thou art in search of? You don't have to swear. You can leave. It's okay. Now, um, now that we've got that Kanehurst summons, you don't really have to deal with her at all. Um, the next time we see Alfred, you can choose to give him that summons or not. Um, if you give him the summons, he comes here, kills her, and then goes crazy. So you come by and she's, you know, if you decide to come back, She's a giant bloody mess, and just literally bits of her scabbard scattered all over the floor. And Alfred's standing there all crazy and out of his mind, and you can kill him and take his weapon, um, which is a giant wheel. Uh, it's it's kind of cool. It's a strength weapon. Um, and you can take that from him and then use that for the rest of the game if you want to. Um, you can actually resurrect her later on in the game. You can pick up a chunk of her flesh um, and use that later. To bring her back. Um, I want to say she's a little bit more relevant in... The Vile Bloods are a little bit more relevant if you care about the PvP aspect of the game. Um, so yeah, resurrect her if you want. Kill her right now if you want. You can do whatever you want. Um, but uh, I'm probably going to pop back at some point if we, find, if we find Alfred, which is not necessarily guaranteed because I don't remember off the top of my head where he shows his face again next. So, let's see if I need to repair my sword. And then...
Do a quick blood gem check. Actually, wait. No, okay. Alright, so nothing that I need to worry about then. Um, let's see, we've got the Blades of Mercy. Don't have enough to fortify the pistol anymore. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna walk away from that. Oh, Flora of the moon. There you are. Of the dream. Oh, let the hunt and let this foretell a pleasant view one day. What is it? Very well, let me stand. Like I said, we're going to get endurance up to 30, so. Okay, now from here. Oh, geez, what do we want to do next? Um, we can go back to Frenziesville, where we were before. Um,. Which I'm not super excited about. I'm pretty sure I have the key... I have the key to the Upper Cathedral Ward. I feel like the Upper Cathedral Ward is... Probably more the move right now. I think that the other area is probably about the last place that we go. So, what we're going to want to do... Oh god, how do I get there? Let's head back to the Cathedral Ward. Yeah. And see if anything's changed here for the couple of folks that we've got. She is absolutely not happy at all. She's completely nutty. And so is she. Alright, that was fun. So, we were here quite a while ago. We're going to head back up. And remember, as always, when you're in here, immediately jump. Otherwise, old Grandpa Gatling is going to get you. And I'll tell you what, I'm tempted, especially since we're only at eight minutes in the episode. Where we're heading, ultimately, is all the way up to the top of this. There was a locked door that we couldn't get through before. But there's also this area down here. And I do not remember what's at the bottom of this. And the last time we tried, we died. We've only got 14,000 blood echoes on us right now. And I'm... We're going to go down first. I'm going to remind myself what's way at the bottom of all this. Let's see. Probably didn't want to drop all the way down just there. And then from here... Let's see, is that... Yep. And 
And then I'm pretty sure from right here we just walk off the ledge. And we survive. Alright, so we're down at the bottom. Kill him. Beast rune. I do not remember what's past this door. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> a celebration. A great night of celebration. <laughs> we. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we've got this. I remember this now. So, this little side area down here, just kind of work your way around. Um, I don't think it matters too much which way we go first. Surprise the dog. Rumpled Yarnum hat and some sweaty clothes, just in case you wanted some of that. Thought there was another kind of big boy back here someplace. This is the same place I just knocked. Oh, that's right, I remember there's a brain eater over to the right here. Alright, so try and sneak up on this guy. Because he sucks. Fireblood gemstone... I think that's it, actually. I don't know if there's... I think that, that door that I knocked on, I don't think that that person can ever be sent anywhere. I think they're just crazy pretty much forever. So anyway, that's actually it for this little sub-area down here. And then... Head up this. And remember me saying that there was a thing that we'd get way later in the game? It's way later in the game. So you might remember that. Um, up there is to the Grand Cathedral. This way is going to be back down toward where we're going. And then we're just going to continue the loop. And this time when we get up to the workshop, we'll go up. Grandpa should still be dead, though. Yep. And you can, of course, do that earlier. Um, if I remember right, the first time I just died, missed the jump. Um, since you have to take some hits on the way down, or you have to take some damage at least, um, you may not have the health to survive the fall. And there's not in this game any kind of item that helps you with fall damage. Um, so you'll want to be careful with that. But you can run through that pretty much whenever you want, just a, a matter of how tough the enemies are going to be. Hey, hey! No. It's 
What's up, big boy? Alright, so now that we've done all that... Destroy all that just because it's satisfying. And now we can get to the Upper Cathedral Ward. Which we have been denied access to for so, so long. Ew, you're gross. All right. I don't think there's anything. Yeah, this initial part's pretty straightforward. Alright, when you get up here at first, head to the right. Yeah, maybe I do want to use the big sword. These guys seem to be weak to blunt. Anyway, grab the rune. And now head back the way you came. You can literally run right past all these guys if you want to. Oh, birds, you annoy me so much. cold blood for all your trouble. It's like somebody's chasing me. And they will. They will chase you, but they're so slow that it doesn't really matter. Alright, up the stairs, and I don't know how many times I've described something in this game as my least favorite part in the game, but this area up here, definitely my least favorite part of the game. If I said that anywhere else, I was lying, because I hate this part. Alright, kill him. Grab the choir garb. Switch to something where you've got some light. Come out here, head to the right first. You're going to have a werewolf burst out of the window down here. Be prepared for that. Come on. Oh man, if you can get lucky and kill him through the... Oh, okay, so he waits for you to back up.
Um, if you can kill this guy through the door, do it. And that, that right there is why I hate these things. So, so much. Is he still in there? Yeah, he's still there. Come here, dude. Alright, he's not going to get close enough for me to kill him. So those things are all over the place, and they have acquired that grab you from a distance spell. And the grab you from a distance spell works really, really well, and is really, really annoying. Because then they walk up to you and they grapple you, and they steal your insight, and they kill you, and it just... They suck. Everything about them sucks. They all suck. It all sucks. Anyway, run down here and then run right back up. Oh, maybe. So the thing there fell. You can see one wolf. Usually they chase you. Yeah, there's three wolves right there. Come on. Don't have time for this. Chase me. Why are you not chasing? There we go. Anyway, they can't fit through the doorway. Which makes this a lot easier. Come on. It's one down. Two down. Mm. Three down. Okay, what are we at? Twenty three minutes. It's one more wolf. So what has happened previously, what's, as far as I knew, supposed to happen, is that they chase you up the stairs and then you just get everybody stuck behind that doorway and beat them down. And for whatever reason, they didn't all do it. Okay, so that door's locked. So the only way past right now is to get past the brain suckers. And... I just have never been any good at it. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to go over the other side of this first. And I think there's maybe one more wolf back here? No? Okay. So there's one way at the end of this hallway. And I don't think I can get closer. We're going to make sure. I don't think I can get closer to him by coming down here. I think I have to approach him from the long hallway. Yeah, there's no, like, back way to get to him. You can hear him all being a squidgy little dick down there. Oh, and there's this guy, right. Forgot about you. There he is. All right, got the first one. So up the ladder. And 
And then there's another one down there. And then there's, this is the one that we hurt at first. All right, it's actually working out reasonably well so far. So come down here and open this. And then this is the door to the orphanage. Got it. All right. Blindfold cap. Madman's knowledge. Madman's knowledge. Pearl slug. And then this door is at the top of the stairs, the one that we couldn't open a minute ago. Oh, man, do I want to push my luck? I'm going to push my luck. So what we're going to do is we're going to go around back to the other side at the bottom. So this is where the wolf jumped at you. gonna go this way there's I think just one more yeah he's right there oh no 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 here we go let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. He even burps. They burp. Alright, so far... Can I get him through the wall? I can't. Come on. All right. Cosmic Eye Watcher Badge. All right, so I guess we could have come down here and maybe attacked him from behind if we wanted to. But that actually clears this area out. I am proud of myself. Now, what this opens up... There's two doors we've got to worry about. This is the front door to the entire building. So this is a shortcut. You can see all the little slug dudes and then the lanterns down there. Alright, so actually before we go that way... Gonna go back up and get that other door. I can't believe that worked out that well. This gesture will end up being important later. You make contact gesture. And 
is there anything else up here? There is not. Okay. So now that we've got that, we're going to head back where we came from. Down the stairs. I think we hit, I know we're a little bit past time, but I think we hit another lantern in a minute. Up here. And this time go down this way. here already okay um well yeah why not let's finish this off with a boss fight so let's see this is one of the more interesting boss fights in the game honestly so this is eh, we'll just show you the celestial emissary now what's going to happen is you're going to get a bunch of these guys uh none of them are really okay Eventually, you'll get one where he starts actually damaging the bar below. Okay, enough, guys. It's this guy right here. And eventually, he is going to get big. Now, if these guys get overwhelming, you can actually kite them away. Um... Because, I mean, they can, they can, it, it can be a lot. Or just back up, throw some Molotovs, game over. Alright, head up here, check this out. Nothing up here, there's nothing else down there. Light the lamp. Oh, gee, what's this? That is going to be next episode. So, um, I'm going to head back and level up in between episodes, but we will meet you again right here in a little bit. If you're having fun, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I will see you soon with more from Bloodborne.